it's Susan here from Komori no Hime Cosplay, and today I'm going to be doing a little behind the scenes of how I'm planning and organizing for 2019. I find it really interesting to see how other creators organize their projects, so I thought some of you might find this interesting. Before moving on to 2019, I took a moment to write down some of the accomplishments or exciting things that happened regarding the channel. In 2018, there are a couple things that are blocked out uh, just for personal privacy, but the main things being that went to Japan, did the first collab on the channel, which was the Secret Santa with Alana Owlet. The photos from my Ochigo cosplay were featured on the Five Wits website. We reached 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is crazy. Um, because of the 5k subs, that also means that my channel is now eligible to join Famebit, which is a site for gathering sponsorships. Not that that's really happened, but it is something that's potential. Uh, Mew Ichigo won third place at the local Cherry Blossom Festival fashion show. I also wrote another ebook, uh, How to Start a Cosplay YouTube Channel. If you want to check it out, I will put a link to it in the description box below. Also completed two cosplay commissions and moved. So while I'm not sure this is really an accomplishment, it was a really big thing that happened in 2018. Now that we've reflected on 2018, it's time to start thinking about 2019. And there are really only two main goals for the channel for 2019 and the First one is to keep growing the channel and hopefully get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And goal number two, which is probably should have been put as goal number one since this is the primary goal of the year, is to launch the 20 Years of Anime project, which is something I will be making a video about very, very soon. If you follow me over on Instagram, you may have seen a couple sneak peeks as to some of the projects related to that. Here's how everything is broken down by the individual month. So up here I have January and then keeping track of the growth on Instagram and YouTube. I used to have other social media platforms on here, but since Facebook and Tumblr are kind of dead, I'm not worrying about those anymore. So over here we have the videos that were published. It used to say made, but it's been scratched out to say published because I've got some videos that aren't going to be published for a while. So I'm just keeping track of the current videos. So we have the Kingdom Hearts videos, the Froppy Wig, Sewing Machine Needles, and once this video is up, it will be added to the list. Over here, I have the costumes that were completed. So this helps keep track of what costumes were made when and also how many costumes I've been producing per month. So over here, we've got Aqua, Kairi, and also Toru. And then down here I have the photo shoots that I've done. So we've got Christmas Isabel, Fantasy Suyu, Sakuramato, and Aqua. Because I tend to work on multiple projects at the same time and am therefore buying supplies for multiple projects at the same time, I like to keep track of how much money I have spent on cosplay versus how much money I am bringing in from cosplay. So up here, these are all the places that I bring in little bits of money from cosplay. So we have the income total, which will be filled out at the end of the month. Then we have Amazon affiliate, ebook sales, number of books sold, YouTube AdSense. And the reason this is zero is because my channel doesn't always get paid every month. Then under here, we have the costumes sold and then the individual costumes and how much the costume brought in after PayPal takes their cut. Then underneath, I have little brackets for putting in how much money I've spent on supplies at the end of the month. Now, as you can tell from these numbers, I am not a full-time cosplayer, but selling costumes helps to keep the circle of cosplay going. And that was just a little quick peek into how I'm organizing and preparing for 2019. I hope you found this video interesting. For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!